So let's do a haul. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Today, I want to go thrifting for some home decor. I also want to show you guys my inspiration behind kind of like how I'm going to decorate my apartment. I feel like you guys have kind of seen the vibe, but I wanted to like really show you guys what I'm doing because some people were confused. They're like, why would you buy that? It doesn't go with your apartment. I'm like, it goes with what I'm wanting my apartment to look like. That's the plan for today. I actually just ended my last vlog like three seconds ago. You guys saw that one. I got my hair done. <laughs> and I also was on the Zoom with the White House where Joe Biden Joe Biden was on that Zoom call. Kind of crazy that that just happened. It's still like processing in my mind that that just happened. But yeah, so go check out my last vlog if you're like, oh, what? Yeah, my eyes are really blue today. I feel really pretty today, but I really like my hair. I cut off a couple inches. Like my hair I think was to here before and now here. Obviously it's curled, so maybe it's a little bit shorter, but I really like it. I'm glad I didn't go any shorter because a lot of people were like saying I should go to here, which now that I'm looking at it, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think it'd be that bad, but also it's like, I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> my video uploaded while I was on that Zoom with the White House. So I want to start responding to some comments and then I'm going to gather my inspiration images and show it to you guys. I'm so excited for you to see it. I just went through my TikTok and my Pinterest board and I screenshotted a lot of my inspiration images to kind of show you guys the vibe of what I'm wanting to go for. I'm gonna start screen recording my phone. <laughs> also shout out to all these creators that came up with this. Like if they're on TikTok, like their profiles are here, go check them out. This first image, I love this a lot. Like I like the shelf, which is very similar to what I have here. Hers is maybe like a little bit of a different tone. I like that she has like a lot of wood tones and some greenery. Like I'm not wanting a lot of color. I'm wanting very neutral tones. This is quite literally so blurry, but I love Love, like the rustic and like not necessarily rustic like the texture and like the age of this I want to incorporate lots of wood tones lots of warmth lots of texture I love the olive tree in this I got that olive tree from Amazon we saw that I just like how cozy it feels I like this I like the shelf styling I think I might copy some of that for this because I need to fill these shelves up I liked the vase on this like I just want to add like a lot of texture I don't know necessarily like older elements but elements that have more character that aren't so cookie cutter I liked the vase I just started screenshotting random things that I liked but I'm just being honest but i feel like you guys are getting the vibe this is kind of what i was thinking i don't love the coffee table the coffee table is not my vibe but initially i was wanting to put two like vertical white texture frames on top of my couch i don't know if i'm gonna do two anymore it's because my couch is smaller so maybe i'll do like one long horizontal but i wanted to do maybe like some like white texture like how there is here i kind of keep going back and forth if i want to do that or not maybe i want to do like a picture of like a background and add some color but like i really like like whites. Today when I go thrifting, I want to buy some stuff like this that I can maybe like paint or DIY to put on the shelves. I also really like this. See, this is kind of where I'm like stuck between do I want to go for more of like an older antique vibe like this or back to this where it's kind of more, a little bit more cookie cutter, but there is like some, you know, texture. See, huh? Texture. I just really want to incorporate lots of textures, mixed materials and like some warmth to make it a little cozy. Like my apartment is pretty modern over here and I want to kind of warm it up a little bit. I'll put some like decor in here to warm it up but i don't want it to be so like black and white and stark i also want to add a lot of warmth because my floors are pretty dark and they're kind of cool toned so i want to add some more like lighter woods to warm it up i like this i don't love the coffee table but like the decor vibe i love this i think i showed this already but i really love this like this is definitely the vibe for what i want to do here this is also another like really big inspiration i just wanted like a light fluffy couch a nice simple coffee table and some like neutral art above it and like I just want it to feel very cozy and very home. I spend all of my time in my apartment. I want it to feel like home. This is also like another inspiration image. I don't think I would do like the photo with like the black because I don't want to incorporate that many blacks in here because like I said, the floors are dark. I just kind of wanted to make it a little bit lighter, but I like the coffee table a lot. This is another thing. I really love this. I don't think I'll do this right away, but I might get a different table because this one's just so wobbly and it's not the base of it's wobbly. It's like the physical table's wobbly and there's no way that you can fix it. We tried. This is also the media console that I have. I love like how they styled the decor on top of it. This is like another inspiration image for the couch that I really like. See, it just feels very cozy. I feel like none of these are like to a T my vision. There's things that I would grab 
and maybe pass from these inspiration images but they're overall like the kind of vibe i really like this i don't know if i'd get a dark coffee table because again i just don't want to add that much darkness to the apartment i definitely will get a rug to lighten things up and like a coffee table but i want to add more dark decor elements and not necessarily dark furniture elements but i really like the way they styled it i think Oh no, there's another one. I like this vase. Like I just feel like the shape and kind of like uniqueness of it is kind of what I'm looking for in furniture. And then I have this right here, which is kind of what I want to do above my couch. I feel, I don't know if it's like overdone or not. I, I want to hear your guys' opinion. Where people got like plaster on canvas and made like a textured canvas. I don't know if that's overdone and kind of out of style. It doesn't really matter if it's out of style if I like it, but I just don't want to put something up there and get tired of it really quickly. This is another image that I really like this one a lot. Like I like the nice light wood coffee table with like the decor on it i like that it just feels really cozy but it still feels put together i have an idea for that giant mirror that i have to like make the edges black but i just i love this that's all the inspiration images that i have but i really just want it to feel cozy warm lots of light wood lots of textures kind of the vibe and that's just what i'm planning for my living room i will do my bedroom eventually but like my living room is my top priority right now and honestly like i've just put a complete pause in looking for any furniture looking for any decor i've just been like not wanting to spend money and like i have to i kind of was just like you know what i'm gonna be living here who knows if i renew my lease like if i don't renew my lease i'll be living here for only a year i want to have it decorated in that time so i was like let's just get on top of it let's just start doing it and i'm always here for your guys's feedback for your guys's opinions i love an opinion i love a feedback but yeah i want to go shopping today for some decor for this stuff i've been trying to find a coffee table and i just cannot find a coffee table that i like it's been hard it's been rough. I think that I do want to go with a light wood coffee table. I was also playing around with the idea of a concrete coffee table, but I think that the gray is just not going to be warm enough that I need. I'll definitely do like a giant rug in here and do like kind of like a lighter rug. I'm still not sure what kind of rug I exactly want. I'm wanting to find my coffee table first and then the rug, but that has proven to be an issue. So maybe I'll do it the other way around. But the furniture pieces that I'm looking for, a giant rug, a coffee table. I might want to replace this lamp. And then I want to do some like nice light wood bar stools to kind of tie in this right here and kind of make it like seamless. There's a lot that's going on in my mind for how I want to decorate it. And like the issue is, it's not that I don't know what I want, it's that I can't find what I want anywhere. Ah, proven to be difficult, but it's okay. We'll work with it. We're gonna go decor shopping. I keep saying that, I just hope I find good stuff. I want to go thrifting first and foremost because I want to find things that have more character, things that are a little bit more used, not so cookie cutter, doesn't look like they're straight out of the box and it'll be cheaper. Okay, we're about to head out. Let's go shopping. It tells me this every time. I know, I know. One thing that I do want to make note of, I'm not a millionaire. People always assume that because I make YouTube videos, I'm instantly a millionaire. I'm not, I'm not even close to being a millionaire. Just letting you know. So my budget is not unlimited for decorating my apartment and for furnishing it. So there's a lot of things that I could do that I definitely am going to wait on doing because there's more essential things that I want to buy first. A lot of people are saying that I should get like an accent chair, which I think could be a cute idea if there's space for it. But if I do get an accent chair, that will probably be the very last thing that I get because like a rug, a coffee table, bar stools, those are more important and like little decor too. An accent chair adds to it, but it's not like essential. My budget's not, um, stop yelling at my car eyes yells at me. My budget is not unlimited. It's like everyone else's budget. So yeah, but I think we're gonna go to Goodwill first. Let's map us there. Even though I think I know how to get there. I really can't get anywhere without a GPS. I really feel like I could get there though without it. I'll try, you know what? I'm gonna try getting there without a GPS. We'll see. Made it. I didn't get anything. There were so many people in there that it was like making me feel very anxious the amount of people that were there. I think I'm gonna go to a different Goodwill. I honestly, I wanna come back to this one, but th there were so many people and especially like in the home decor section. I think that there was like people trying, I don't know what people were trying to do, but there were these guys that were literally taking every single thing from the shelves and just putting in their cart and they were being so loud and obnoxious and kind of rude. I don't know, it was just like overwhelming and I was like, I cannot be here right now. And not even like the fact that it's like Goodwill it has nothing to do with the fact that it's a thrift store. It has everything to do with the fact that like they were, it was just overwhelming. There's another one pretty close to here. We're gonna go to that one. Oh, I know where this is. Oh, okay. Hopefully I'll have better luck at this next one. Take two. Let's do this. This is so cool. 
I'm already having so much better luck here. There's like not nearly as much people. Ooh. Do I like this? I think I might hate it. I kind of like this. I could like spray paint it. Yes. Huh. <gasps> I like this. It's definitely like the cool like vintage-y feel that I'm going for. This Goodwill is definitely superior to the other Goodwill. Not nearly as much people and a lot better stuff. I went through their books and picked out ones that I thought had cool spines to them. This one's really cool. I think they'll go really well together. Like that's really awesome. I think this one's like really cool. This one looks very vintage and I'm debating if I want to get this one. I think the story is cool. I just don't know if it goes with like the vibe. I got some really great stuff. I'm so excited to show it to you guys. I'll tell you my vision for like some of the things I'm planning on like painting and DIYing. This Goodwill popped up. I'm really close to my college town, Tempe. One time I was like talking to someone who isn't from Arizona and I kept saying college town because I didn't want to like talk about a city that they didn't know and they're like, I know it's Tempe and I was like, Okay, Tempe. <laughs> I was just trying to be considerate, but whatever. And so there's like a little shopping area over there with the Target. And I was like, maybe I go there. But also, the Target might be sold out of everything because everyone just moved into college. But there's also like a lot of good food areas over there. So I'm like, maybe I pick up some lunch and then go to another Goodwill and then call it a day. I don't know how much more decor I'm going to need, but I like to look. This place right here is called Portillo's. My mom and I ate there for lunch after going to my freshman orientation, my senior year of high school, when I was like getting ready to go into college. That's crazy. And now I've graduated. Oh my God. Where is time gone? Ah, uh, hello, old friend. Target. Target. It's so nice being at my old Target. I know where everything is. There's no children. Oh, I love it here. I miss this place. I'm always humbled by the price of razors. Guys, run to Target. This smells exactly like the volcano candle from Anthropology, and it's only $10. I'm so tired of getting lightheaded every time I'm in Target. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. It's annoying. Ooh, this is my zodiac sign. The intuitive fish. It smells like nothing. They cleared like all the Studio Mickey stuff over there for college, which is all sold out. So all they really have is Magnolia, which I don't love as much as like Studio McGee. Why do I kind of like this though? <laughs> this side table is really cute because I could use one for a hundred dollars though. This is like, it's wobbly too. It's a no for me for a hundred dollars. Hmm, I don't even know what. Eh. Yeah, I prefer Studio McGee over Magnolia. I think I might get this candle literally just because of Taylor Swift. Oh, <laughs> uh, are my teeth blue? No, they just looked blue in the camera. I got food, In-N-Out. Tell me why In-N-Out milkshakes always taste warm. Like temperature wise, they're cold, but they taste warm. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok about that. Very good, very good though. I got a cheeseburger, animal style. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm hits the spot. I can't really digest red meat that well, so like this will hurt my stomach, but it's worth it. And the dairy too, overall bad. So let's do a haul. So let's do a haul. Wow, where do we even begin? My fingers feel like they're about to come off carrying all of this stuff up in one trip. Woo, I'm like sweating. Let's start with what's right front and center. Goodwill, please tell me this didn't break. I got this pot. I feel like the colors of it are not necessarily the vibe, but I love the shape, so I want to paint it. Hello. Like this is like a hefty pot. Like this is like great. Good quality. And so I don't know what color I want to paint it yet. I'm debating between like a black, like a very textured white or like a textured neutral. Let me know what you guys think. I feel slightly guilty for like painting over some of this stuff, but I keep telling myself, someone gave this away. They didn't want it anymore. It was at the store. I bought it. No one else wanted it. So I can do whatever I want with it. And like this was probably mass produced like years and years and years ago. Like this thing looks old. Like it looks like it's been sitting in the sun. So I think that this will be really cute. I love the shape and I just think that there's like a lot of character to it. So I think that I want to paint it, but whatever I paint it, I want to add character to it or maintain some character. I also got this. I just thought this was kind of cute. Like to layer and to stack. Just thought it was adorable, you know, tying in those like wood tones. I got this like antique gold picture frame. Thought this was super cute. I also got this picture frame. I liked the detailing on it, but I think I want to paint it black, but I still really like the molding. So I thought that would be really cute black. Mm -hmm -hmm. I showed you guys some of these books. I thought that it would be really cute to get some like bookends. I mean, I don't know if I'd stack them this way, but just kind of like line up some books. I like the kind of vintagey feel. So this is Tell Me a Story, Selections from the Children's Friend. Honestly, this is like a little creepy, but you're only going to be seeing the spine. This one is very loved. It looks like it was in like a pair of blue jeans. Beverly Gray Freshman, Claire Blank. And I 
could rate these if I really wanted to. What? <gasps> Arrival, Runaways, Caught, Ghosts, Revenge, An Examination, Past, oh, like this, like what is this book? 1934. <laughs> wow. So she's vintage. Why is it kind of scaring me? Why do I feel like this face is gonna come alive? And then I got this book, it's Doctoral Answers. I liked the kind of like tortoisey shell. What do you think is this about? Is this in a world of confusion where some say, Lo here is, wait, is this like a real, this might be a religious book. The character of Satan. Yeah, this is definitely a religious book. I thought this was about doctors. I literally thought it was for people who tried to be a doctor who needed answers. Wow. I thought this thing was so cool. It's like a person who just kind of like, like me too. <laughs> I do that all the time. So I liked this a lot. I got this bowl. Thought it would be cute for layering as well. Like maybe some books under it. Maybe like some beads or something coming out of it. I got this cutting board that I thought would be cute to like sit up. You can tell that this thing has definitely been used and loved on both sides. So I think that it adds some character to it. I love that these things feel like worn almost. I got this little green tray. It's the exact green color as a book that I got. So I thought that could tie it in well. And you know, I could just put little things on it. A little tray for my knickknacks. I'm gonna wash this first. This is just like a white little plate, but I wanted somewhere to put my spoons when I'm cooking. You know, just like a little spoon rest or like a little spatula rest so I didn't have to put it on my counter. And I would like to get like a nicer one, but this was a dollar. So I was just like, you know what? I, this could be good for the time being and I don't need to dirty my counter, but I will wash it before I use it. Ooh. <laughs> Here's the thing about this next thing. You're either gonna see the vision or you're not. <laughs> I'm going to spray paint this vase. Have you ever seen the spray paint that has like texture? to it. I want to do that. This reminded me of the 818 bottle or 8 Reserve by 818. It reminded me of the bottle of that and I feel like whatever the Kardashians do it's always going to be trendy so I was like this would be a really cool thing. Ray paint like a textured white and I like the little hole in it. I just thought this would be like a nice like statement draw your eyes towards it piece. I also have two faces that have like little holes in the center so super trendy. You're either like gonna really see the vision for that or you're not at all. I got this scrapbook. It hasn't even been like used yet. I've been wanting to get into scrapbooking because I'd really love to make a scrapbook of all of my to-do lists, all the different products, like my first draft of products, what I launched, the marketing stuff. I'd really like to make a scrapbook for my to-do list, my literal babies that I made. You know, I think that'd be really cute to just be able to look back on when I'm older and see like, oh my God, that was the very first thing that I ever released. And I've been wanting to look for a scrapbook for a while and scrapbooks are super expensive. So I found this one that's never been used and I thought it was cute. I could display it if I wanted to. I don't know if I will, but I just thought it was adorable. Kind of grandma-ish more books this is the book that i got that like ties in with that green little oh my gosh wait why do i kind of like this huh like what if i have it like this you see it's kind of like i like that hmm but on the side i showed you guys that it says the story which i thought was also really cute this is an asu thing book for asu the story of course this would be an asu thing Ugh. And then I got this last book that I kind of thought would be cute to like lay a flat. This is a photography nature, the life library of photography. There's also another one that I really wanted to get. It was like a travel photography one, but the edge of that was kind of damaged and I was just like, it won't look as nice. So I didn't get it, but I wanted to. And then I went to Target. I got three boxes of angel hair pasta. Angel hair pasta is my favorite because it only takes five minutes to cook and Trader Joe's doesn't sell angel hair pasta. I got this picture frame. I thought it was really cute. You kind of see that there's like some discolor to it i just rubbed it off and it came out oh maybe that part's not coming off i'll wipe it down if it doesn't come off i'll return it but i liked that it was kind of like arch i thought that would add some visual interest a lot of the stuff that i have is obviously boxy these were three dollars so i was like whatever i'll get them these little pumpkins i just thought they'd be cute to like put around my apartment for fall i got a pack of razors some color catchers this is the maybelline sky high mascara i got it in brownish black this is what i use on my lower lashes i personally don't like a why do I look creepy? I really don't like when my lower lashes are super dark and long. I think it kind of looks like a creepy doll. Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, Ariel, Ariel. He shared this trick where you can use like a brown mascara. And then I got it in waterproof because I'm emotional. I also sweat a lot. I showed you guys this in the store. This candle smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It literally smells like Volcano by Anthropology. I have the Pura for the anthropology scent. So whenever I light candles, I'm like, oh, they kind of clash. So I am so excited to light this. And then I had some stuff in my mailbox. I know this haul is never ending. What is this? Was this meant for me? Well, it says my apartment location. None of these things are having my name on them. Curology. This is not me. Okay, oops, oops. My bad. I'm gonna bring this to the leasing office. This is probably whoever lived here before me. 
my bed. And then I got another order from Abercrombie. If you guys remember in my last haul that I did that had Abercrombie stuff, I got the cutest pair of jeans, but I ordered them the wrong size. So I got them in the right size and then I got another pair of jeans. I will not be trying them on right now because I did just eat a ton of food and I feel like it will hurt my self-esteem to try on a pair of jeans when I'm bloated. I just don't think that'd be good for my self-esteem. I'm not gonna do it to myself. I will try them on though later. So these are the pair of jeans that I got last time that I'm just gonna return in the wrong size. Hopefully these fit me. If not, I'll just return. That's always my motto. I'll just return. And then I got these that are kind of similar but kind of different. I know, I have a problem, okay? I just like that these had like one single rip on them and they were kind of like higher up. I just thought that that was unique. I don't really own any jeans like that. So we'll try them on when I am less bloated. But until then, I'm probably gonna start working on the digital versions of the to-do list. Start finishing them up, putting them into the website, doing all that stuff. It's gonna take a lot of time and I'm just gonna sit down on my couch and grind it out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I really like it. It's not done, like there's definitely some things that I wanna fill up. Down here, I wanna get three baskets with little lids, like rectangular baskets with lids, so I can just put like cords or like little knick-knacky things, maybe some like fall decor. I put like the little pumpkins around, if you see those right there. It's not guaranteed to stay this way, so don't worry, especially like this top shelf, it's not it, but I really like it so far. I wanna get some more books so I can stack and layer a little bit. Considering this was $41 from Goodwill, like I got a lot of stuff for $41, so I'm pretty proud there will be a DIY vlog coming sometime but I like it I honestly am kind of liking this like this but I think I might change it but I do I do like it for now hmm we'll see like the more I look at it the more it's growing on me even though it's just not the color scheme it's definitely that like antique vibe that I like I don't know I like this so far but again it's not done so just bear with me I am having the most intense headache every time I move my eyes I just feel pain in my head and like all in my head. Do you know sometimes you have like headaches that are just like in certain areas? This one's everywhere. I don't know why. So I think I'm gonna end the video. I love you guys so much. 